weight and fuel. You got pilots and stores, uh, basic operating weight. Payload, you can say three passengers at 185 pounds each and 200 pounds of cargo. Go to takeoff, or that gives you zero fuel weight. Mm -hmm. Takeoff page, fuel on board sink, 2500 gives us our takeoff weight of 11 six, or 1195. Mm -hmm. um, so we go to next, load our flight plan. We've got one loaded in right now from Scottsdale to Centennial. Okay. Um, and I can walk through that, but basically yeah. it just shows all the. Right. Um, and it actually has the altitudes on it correct, as well. Correct, for your cross instrument. Right, the GTN, I don't think it does that. Yeah, so this is your takeoff data. So you've got Scottsdale, runway 21, with a takeoff weight of 11,958. We'll load the METAR weather. It's a dry runway. Winds are variable, so we'll just hit... Actually, and, we'll do 210. And the METAR is that's pulling from the XM. Correct. Got it. Yeah. Using the rat temperature that's outside, okay. we can look at the METAR if we want to read it. Hit OK. Runway at 8249 is published. If you need to decrease it for construction or what have you, mm -hmm. you can type in there and put in a manual entry. Um, takeoff config, we'll take off, with, we'll just say flap zero today. Mm -hmm. NIS off, no takeoff factor. We'll do a rolling takeoff, no runway lineup. Go to takeoff data 109, 113, 120, and 130 are our speeds. Okay. Need 4,323 feet available or of runway, right. um, and you've got 8,249 available. Accept the speeds. Don't get any error messages, and our speeds are now posted on the PFD. Very cool.